So let's say we want to find this shaded area. And one thing to note here is that the area is all below the x-axis. Okay, So let's keep that in mind. But we're going to work with it in exactly the same way as we have done before. So we want to integrate x squared minus 8x plus 15. So integrate x squared minus 8x plus 15 with respect to x between 3 and 5. OK, so we go straight in, in square brackets, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, so x cubed over 3, take away, uh, we're going to add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, so we'll have minus 4x squared plus 15x, OK, no constant of integration because we've got a definite integral, and we're evaluating between 3 and 5. So if we substitute in 5, okay, so we're going to get 125 over 3, take away uh, 100 plus 15 times 5 is 75. Take away substituting in 3 now, uh, 3 cubed is 27 divided by 3 is 9, take away 4 lots of 9, so 36, and then plus uh, 45. OK, so go to the calculator now. We've got 125 over 3, take away 100 plus 75. So this is 50 over 3, that's the first bracket. Take away 9, take away 36 plus 45. So take away 18. So 50 over 3, take away 18, gets us minus four thirds. Okay? Now, the area clearly isn't minus four thirds. The area has to be positive. So this area is equal to positive four thirds. Okay? So we can write area equals four thirds. So as you can see, the integral can be negative, but the area can't be.